This video is about different strategies for controlling states in Embryo. What do I mean by state? A state is the internal configuration of a computer program. Consider a project that uses an RGB LED as an indicator. At different times, the LED should act differently. For a simple example, I have a button which when pressed cycles through three different patterns. The light can be green, the light can blink red, or the light can cycle through the different colors. Each pattern is considered a state. This tutorial talks about how to control which state of many possible states is active in an embryo program. In embryo, everything gets encapsulated by an agent. In this case, there is one agent that encapsulates the LED, one that encapsulates the button, and one agent for each state. As you see here in my embryo project, there are five agents. I'll make a new agent called Top Level Control and drag the button and for now just two of the LED control agents onto the node screen, the green one and the red blinking one. Most agents that control something should have an activation input. By changing the activation on either of these LED control agents above 0.5, I turn the behavior on, making the LED either shine green or blink red. Toggling between two choices is one of the simplest state control scenarios. To do this, you use a switch node from the flow control menu. A switch has an output activation that is either on or off, and the state of the switch is changed by using the turn on, turn off, or toggle input triggers. First, I attach the switch activation to the green LED agent. Now when I toggle the switch, the green light turns on and off. When the switch outputs a zero, the light is off, but I want the LED to be blinking red at this point. I add a flip value node and attach the switch's activation to it and connect it to the blink red agent. Finally, I connect the button agent's trigger to the switch toggle and now pressing the button changes between the two states. Now let's say I want to add another state to the mix. I have another agent that randomly changes the color of the LED. You can see how to do this in the random fade RGB LED tutorial. All you need to know about this agent for now is that it has an activation input, which when above 0.5 turns it on. Now I have three LED control agents on my top level agent. I get rid of the switch node and add a multi-step node from the flow control menu. I have three states, so I click the add button three times. This node has one active output at a time. Firing the next input trigger makes it go to the next step, and firing the reset trigger makes it go back to the first step. When the next input is fired while the last step is already active, the done output trigger fires. If I connect this to the reset input, I could cycle through the three states continuously. I connect one output to each LED state, connect the button to the next trigger, and now clicking the button cycles through the three LED states. This node is great for controlling a program flow that always follows the same process. For the last state control example in this tutorial, I'll use a highest activation node. Like the multi-step node, I can add however many states I want. I'll add three, one for each control agent. Notice that there is one input activation for each output activation. The output activation corresponding to the highest input activation is set to one, and the rest are set to zero. Again, I'll connect one output agent to each LED control agent. This node lets you control multiple states when the logic behind which state is on is more complicated than just being on or off or in a known sequence. Let's say that in my program, in the default state, the LED should be green. When you press the button, it changes to random color fade mode and stops when you press it again. Also, I'll add a distance sensor to the project, and when it detects an obstacle within a set range, the LED blinks red. As I said, the green light is the default behavior, so I'll change its input activation to some high value and zero out the others so that it's on by default. Now I want the button to turn on and off the color fading behavior. I add a switch node, hook up the button to the toggle trigger, and attach its activation to the input corresponding with the color change agent. When the switch is on, it now has the highest activation, so the color fade agent gets turned on. Now I deal with the distance sensor. I have an agent that encapsulates the sensor and outputs an activation of 1 when something is blocking the sensor and 0 when it is not. I put this activation into the final input activation on my pass through highest node. Now notice that both the blink red and random color fade activation can both be set to 1 at the same time. I want to give precedence to the blink red agent. So I'll bring down the on value of the switch to something below 1 and above the default value of the green light activation. So when just the random color fade switch is on, 
it wins the activation pass-through over the default value, but when the distance sensor activates, it wins by having the highest input activation. This technique of having a desire value for each state is an easy and powerful way to control complicated state schemes in your program.